teacher Kathy here. This is Annie Mae. Sometimes she pops into some of my classes and videos and demands attention. So she's going to be here for this video for at least part of it. Okay, today what we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about WordWall. WordWall.net. W-O-R-D-W-A-L-L.net. It's an online gaming site that I use in some of my online classes. And I'm going to show you today how I go about setting it up as I'm planning one of my spelling classes. Okay. But before we get into it, don't forget to click on that subscribe and that like and that bell because it really does help my channel and I would really love it if you could support me in that way. All right, let's jump into it. So let me turn on my screen share. All right, so I'm sharing my big monitor, the whole bull thing so that way you can see it. So if you can't see what I'm doing and stuff, go ahead and zoom in. And Miss Annie is going to decide cats. I mean, they're, they're cats, right? They do what they want. <laughs> Thanks for letting us know that, Annie. Okay, so I've got a spelling lesson on the right, and I've got word wall on the left. Let's take a look at what it is. This is my activities page, okay? And what we're going to do is we are going to plan out a lesson. It's like game links that you can use. So let me open up one to show you. So I do, this is the lesson that we're gonna work on, but I only have the word find in there. And as you can see in my lesson that I have for class, I do have a word find, but I also have these complete the sentences and I'd like to try to add them all in there so I can use them for both spelling, uh, flex classes, self-paced classes, but I also can use it for my live classes, okay? All right. Let me move my camera over just a little bit. Oh, I have to go back this way. There we go. Okay, just want to make sure I'm centered. So let's take a look at what this one looks like before we add a new one. So it's going to load up the game, and it shows you here. You can change the theme at any time, okay? So that's what's really super cool about it, is it lets you change the theme at any time. Let's go with this black one for this one. And then down here are the settings. You can add a timer, adjust the lives. You can make it so they tap a letter. This one is because it's a word find. And then it has all those settings there, and you just hit apply. And then under the more, it lets you reset it. But, and then up here, it also gives you a list of all the other games that they let you use for this. I mean, this has a ton of games on it. So the way that this works is, is for like this one, I would just have it click start and start going. How do you share it with students that are not live like in a flex class or how would you even share it in a flex class or in a live class so what I would do is I'd click on the share and you can click on publish and it gives you a link okay and you can share it that way but if you do that in the live class you cannot see what the students are doing so for a live class what I like to do is I like to use zoom and use the remote control feature allow the students to remote control this portion of my screen. That's the only portion of my screen that I share. And then they can operate my mouse and do the game. If you're doing a flex or a self-paced class, you can do this share link, or you can do the other one that says, oh, um, set assignment, okay? And then that also gives them a link, but has them give you a little bit more info and let you see the reports. Um, so yeah, that's how it works. So what we need to do is I need to add the complete sentence activities in there. So when you click on create an activity, it gives you all these options. That's a lot of options. And that's why I use it. And I love it because you can customize each of these different types of games for a specific type of assignment that you're doing. So. This one I like to use because complete the sentence. I want to use the missing word feature where they put in the missing word, but I've adapted this because this is a spelling class that they have to find the correct spelling. So I'm going to do lesson 10, spelling grade 4 or 5. I'm going to put a 2 here because it's the second game. So I'm going to copy this sentence from my lesson plan. And I'm going to paste it here, but I need to fill in the blank. To conceive is the answer for this one. Conceive. Oh, I spelled that wrong. Conceive a good plan. So see right here, it says add conceive. So I'm going to add conceive. That's one of my options. But I want to also add an incorrect answer. So I'm going to misspell the word on purpose and give them a wrong answer. 
Okay, so that's how it works. Let's add one more. And you just go through and add all of these. Which blank carries blood from the lungs to the heart? Which vein? Okay. Incorrect answer. Done. All right, and you just keep going until you add all of them. So we're going to go ahead and add each of these. I'll repeat it so that way you guys can see over and over what I do, and hopefully it'll help you. Can you blank what happened today? Believe. Add incorrect spelling. Okay. And keep going. I've got a few pages of these for this one, but I think I'll just do the first page for the video for you guys, and then I'll stop it so it won't be too atrociously long. Dr. Rodriguez has a blank named Maria. Niece. I-C-E, the spelled one, you just keep adding them. Copy, paste. A lie is an example of deceit. D-E-C-I-E-T. -E Okay, we got two different spellings there. We're good. We got two more on this page, and then we'll go play the game to show you how it works. Okay. In the infield is the correct answer in that one. In field. All right, one more. Copy, paste, at the corner, yield to ongoing traffic, that's always a good thing, yield, all right, so now we've got them all added, okay, well, at least what I'm going to add for the video, I'm going to add more after I'm done with the video, I'm going to hit done, and it's going to pull up, and I'm going to check my settings. I don't like to use the timers because I like to have my students not feel stressed about it. And then I'm going to hit apply to the act, this activity. We're going to go with the black theme. And here we go. This is how you play this one. So this one is a drag and drop. they got to choose which one is the correct answer, right? So we're going to drag and drop it. Submit answers. Yay, I got it right. And then it just repeats over and over. Vein, drag and drop. Believe, drag and drop. Okay, so you kind of get the gist. That's how this one is played. So I'm going to redo this because I want to show you some of the other games you can do on here. So this one I got to put in the right folder before I forget. So four and five. This goes in lesson 10. Okay, so let's go back to our word find here. Let me show you. If you want to do one of the word finds are pretty cool because it just lets you click on any letter that the word is in. So let's see if I can find one of these words. Um, let's see here. Uh, where can I find one? All right, I found one. So you don't have to click on the first letter. You can click on any, and then it does it and remaces it, okay? So it does it that way. So there we got the first one. Um, and here's another one, so like vein, okay? Okay, so you kind of get the gist of that one. But what's really cool is you can click on any of these other games here to play in this format. So each of the formats that you put in there, it gives you different options for the games that you can play. So let's go and look at the anagram one is my favorite one for spelling, especially because it has them put the words in the correct spelling. Okay. Change that. Save. Start. So I think this one is deceive. 
let's not deceive. Use this one. You can put, make it do audio on this if you want it to be deceived. Receive. Re. Received. There you go. See, that's kind of how it works. Okay. So word wall is awesome. It's got all these different activities. I mean, some of the favorites are whack-a-mole, game show, unscramble. It's even got some math ones down here for like the math generator, watch and memorize, unscramble. I mean, the, the possibilities are endless on this, okay? For the types of activities you can use in your class. And you can use it for homework. You can use it in live class. You can use it in self-paced or flex classes. Any of those work, okay? All right, so... I hope that that was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope that you are able to use that resource in your class. If you like this video, don't forget to click on that like and the subscribe and the bell so you get notified when I put out new videos. I'll see you next time.